YouTube? Well, today is another good day because I got some more parts for my Mazda Speed 3. So let's Came get in the me. mail, another Edge Auto Sports package. Where I'm probably going to buy all my, uh, my uh, parts for the Mazda, honestly. Because they've been good to me. And I get some good rewards. Sorry for the bad uh, angle. I just don't want you guys looking at my address and all that kind of information. I'm just, I don't have a knife, so. Use my, my key. That kind of looks like a knife, almost like a switchblade. You know, like, whoa, I'll cut you. <laughs> Well, let's see what's in the package. What do you guys think I got this time? There's one thing that here is another diamond product part, which I really need to have my uh, car run smooth and clean. But first, let's see. I got some Denso spark plugs. Really good plugs for the Mazda they say they're pre-gapped to point twenty eight already but I'm gonna go check with the gauge anyways cuz I don't I don't trust it and then here I got my second thing I bought is my JBR shifter bushings these are pretty cheap and they're cheaper than diamond and all those, and I'm pretty sure all the bushings are basically the same. I'm pretty sure you can buy um, shifter bushings too from, uh, let's say, um, Home Depot for like for like a few dollars instead of these. These cost I think twenty, thirty dollars. So you can go from there. And then the real bad boy here. <laughs> Let's see, let's see what it is. This is what I'm excited for. This is what's going to make most of the difference. Everything is going to make the car feel a lot better. But this is what's going to make most of the difference. So don't get me wrong, my other product, the other products I bought are still going to help. Okay, well, I, we got the hardware. Washers, nuts, and stuff. And here you guys go. Look at that. You can already see it. Woo, it's pretty heavy. Honestly, it feels a little bit heavier than the pasture motor mount. And here you guys go. Oh, I love the red and the gold. Looks really good. It's gonna look really go good under under my car <laughs> well here you guys go diamond rear motor mounts I already have the passenger mount and you already saw me um, install it on the car now time to install this bad boy the rear motor mount so it doesn't so my uh, engine doesn't shake all over the place there you guys go also we get another diamond sticker Woo, I've about three of these now so I'll put them around the around my car somewhere not on the outside but in the inside somewhere and there you guys go hey what up YouTube today is a good day because we're gonna install the rear road motor mount from diamond here it is look at that beauty ooh look how nice that is so let's get to it. First, you're gonna get your car lifted up. I use jack stands to be safe because I don't trust in the lift because the lifts do fail. So, after you raise up the Mazda, you're gonna get down here. And here is your rear motor mount. You're gonna have to take these uh, three 90 millimeter bolts off and then these two that are 17 millimeters. 
Okay. Well, I took the top bolt off, the bottom bolt, that one, and the one in the bottom. I loosened this one right here. You don't really have to take that off because right when you loosen it, it's just going to fall down. Look at that. And then back here is going to be your motor mount. It's going to shimmy it out. And there you guys go. There's your uh, stock motor mount. And we're about to put this baby in. In with the new, out with the old. So let's get to it. It's all right here. I'm gonna just place it up here. Like, not like that. The other way. Like that, and then put that one up there. And so I'll show you guys how I'm doing that. I hammered this in, and then you'll get this. You'll have two washers. You have uh, these two washers. And you put both on, one on each side. Maybe both on each side, but I doubt it. So you'll put both of these these thicker ones on and that one's for an other one have it like that then you'll just hammer it in until it just goes in like that and then you'll get the thicker the thicker one put it right there like that and then when that's done you'll just put the the bolts in okay well Got it in here. Here, I just hammered this in to get that through. This is a little harder. You're gonna have to, I got a hammer, but I didn't get like, I got one of these soft hammers so I don't damage anything. The steel blocks and whatever. But I pretty much hit this and hit this until it finally lined up. And it was kind of back here, so I had to push the engine uh, forward and then finally got in here. So I'm gonna tighten this to 60 foot pounds and then I'm gonna tighten these. And I think that's 55 right here. So let me get to that. And there you guys go. Installed the Damon Diamond rear motor mount. It was pretty easy. Just take this one out, take that one out, loosen this one, take that out, take that out, and that's it. And then just do exactly you do just with this mount. Just uh, up here, you need that washer and then the other washer that goes back up here and so yeah so I know these are 60 foot pounds of torque and this should be like fixed tighten them as hard as you can if you don't really have a torque wrench I uh, used um, um, extension pretty much like a breaker bar so to actually get like re them really tight and there you guys go well there you guys go I got the diamond pasture mount installed Finally got the diamond rear motor mount installed. We'll, uh, turn on the car and see if I get a lot of vibrations. And here's gonna be the start, uh, first startup video. And let's see how it is. See, as you can see. Not shaking, let's see. It is a little bit louder with the rear motor mount installed with the passenger. I can and hear the noise more. bad as the vibrations are okay well hopefully you guys can hear me probably not because the vibration my uh iphone is connected to the mo uh, the it's connected to a mount but it's connected to the ac so you're gonna feel all the vibrations and hear all that but i need to get like 
I need to get a GoPro. Exactly what I need. But I just don't have money right now to buy that because I'm, you know, <laughs> I've been spending money on my car.